Hello, long time no see. So I've not made many videos recently. Life has sort of gotten away uh, and I haven't had my e Nero. Remember when I done the road test down in the green van with the trailer? <clears throat> I left the e Nero here in Lapland. Uh, so that was a few weeks ago. So I've not really done much in terms of videos in the meantime. However, I have driven back up in the green van with another trailer. <laughs> now I'm back in Lapland, yippee! It's absolutely beautiful now. It's like three degrees, still loads of snow, can still do snowmobiling. This is the best time in Lapland, it's my favorite time. Uh, even seeing the Northern Lights last night, even though it's, kind of, it's usually like too light of a night now, it doesn't get dark, but just for like half an hour, there was a good Northern Lights display last night, so living the dream here. <laughs> anyway, today's video. Uh, so now I have, I'm have i back in the same predicament as I was a few weeks ago. I have the e-Nero here and I have the green minibus which I'm converting into a motorhome here. Both of those need to go 1300 kilometers south to my house in the south so I can continue working on the motorhome conversion. I've already put a bed in it and I've slept in it already. Works well but there's nothing else in it. It was pretty cold. It was minus seven. Uh, and I need to get the e-Nero back because I miss that car. I, I, I love that car. It's great. It's so nice to drive. So I want to get that back in the south. Uh, so how am I going to do that? So today is going to be <laughs> a day of multiple types of vehicles. So first vehicle, snowmobile have to snowmobile from from my wilderness cottage here five six kilometers up the road to where the e-nero was parked get in the e-nero then i have to drive 360 kilometers south to rovaniemi a big town in lapland which is the arctic circle so that's that's like 360 kilometers south of here uh I'm going to see if I can put the Enero on a car train. You've seen one of my videos about the car train that goes up and down Finland. Uh, you can sleep on this train. I'm going to see if I can put the car on that without me sleeping on it. Without me sleeping on the train. So just they can load the car, send it down to Turku, a thousand kilometers away, unload it, and then I can just go and get the key off them one day. And then the Enero is back in the south. That's the plan for the Enero. If not, I will leave it at the train station and then I will come back up on the train, get the e-Nero and then go back down. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm waiting for people to get back to me on that. Once the e-Nero is at the train station in Rovaniemi, I left my motorbike there when I came up in the van and trailer. I had a motorbike in the trailer. I left that there a week ago. It was too snowy to, to do this. It was the, what, the weather was a bit questionable it's still quite questionable it snowed like crazy two days ago however today lovely blue skies the sun is super high it's melting the asphalt nice so even though there's tons of snow everywhere the roads should be clear uh, even if it drops below minus temperatures it's fine because the roads are dry yeah, i can still i can still ride on a road even at minus 10 as long as it's been sunny all day and it's dry and it's a dry road <clears throat> so I'm going to come back on that motorbike, 360 kilometers. It's going to be chilly, but I've got these panniers on the motorbike down there already, with my helmet in the top box and some super warm clothes in the in the side panniers. So then I'll come back up on that. Then I will drive the minibus with the with the trailer on back down south. You got all that. <laughs> So, snowmobile to E-Nero, E-Nero to Rovaniemi, Ro get on the motorbike at Rovaniemi, come back up here, get in the green minibus, drive south. That is the theoretical plan. Let's see how the roads are. Uh, so this video is gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, let's, let's do a range test. So now we're in the village of Carmenon, very far north in Lapland. So let's see if we can make it to Rovaniemi, 360 kilometers in one go. Uh, I can't I couldn't I couldn't do that in winter remember that one 
that trip to Sodankula was 326 kilometers and I got turtle mode and really power reduction in power so that was 326 kilometers that was like it got to minus 24 so 350 in proper Lapland winter it's a bit too much for the e-nero however now the roads are clear it's plus three theoretically I think the e-nero might have 400 kilometers in it on a day like today uh, I'll have to check the wind it's there's a bit of a wind possibly coming from the south so we might have a headwind I'll check windy when I get in a car so that's that that's the purpose of today's and I might get a bit of video on the motorbike coming back up as well I'll see uh, so let's get suited and booted hop on the snowmobile and go to the e-nero Bit of choke. Okay, we arrived at my plot of land. Here's the e-nero. Oh, I hope it's charged. Tell me I plugged it in. Yes, I did. Where is the keys? Bit of ice on it there. That will be the last bit of ice for many months. It's getting so nice and warm now. There's my juice booster. I need to take that south as well. I use this in my garage. It's not just a portable charger, it's my main charger in my in the garage as well in the south. Ah, it, it's so nice having a dark coloured car, that's so warm, the sun is heating it up nice, melting all the snow, 
This should just slide right off. I bet this slides off in one piece now. Watch, check this out. So it's been sat here for, I mean, it was sat here for weeks, plugged in. My OBD dongle thing is plugged in. No problems with the 12 volt battery. How long has it been? A couple of weeks, I don't know, a few weeks. So I was kind of a bit worried that maybe the 12 volt battery was flat, but nope. Started on the button a couple of days ago when I, when I used it. Because obviously I'll use this for, for, for going around in Lapland. I, I, I'm only using that van because A, I need to tow a load of crap south. And this doesn't have a tow bar, so that's one reason I'm using that van. Second reason is I'm turning it into a motorhome. But when I'm not, like this is the priority car vehicle for me. I, I want to use this as much as possible, not not that. But <clears throat> I can sleep in that now, so it's no hotel costs. Anyway, going to shunt some vehicles around, hop in this and see what the score is. Okay, snowmobile leg complete, now in the E-Nero. Let's just turn it on. See what range it gives us. Doesn't really matter what range it gives us, because... 327. So we've got some major crosswinds, according to Windy. Uh, no, mm, a little bit of a headwind once we get down towards Sadankala. Why does that fireplace always come on? <laughs> Every time I start the car, where is it? Where are you? Sounds of nature. Why, why when I start the car, the fireplace always comes on? Okay, navigation. Previous destinations. Hmm. Rover near me. Remember last time we were trying to find a train station and it was, took us to England and everywhere? So you don't put train station, you just put Rover near me and that is the train station. So that's his destination. I think we turn the heater off actually. It's such a nice day. Three degrees. 359 kilometers. I can rumba. Can the E Nero do it? Start guidance. Starting route guidance. We have just turned the heating off, so now we've got 345 kilometers of range. Okay. Am I in eco mode? Yes, I'm in eco mode. So there it says destination is 359. And we have 245 of range. It's gonna be close. Well, is it? Is it gonna be close? I've still got the winter tires on, studded tires, so that will have an effect. They are not efficient tires whatsoever, especially on asphalt. I think it's actually more efficient on ice than it is on asphalt with the studded tires. Oh, it's gotta avoid all kinds of stuff in this yard. So the side roads are still uber snowy. So it will be interesting getting the motorbike through here later. But the main roads are okay. But this this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky on the motorbike. Slippery. Regen off, don't need regen, not a stopping, gonna do the whole, gonna set cruise to 100, basically the whole 360 kilometers. See what happens. In 200 meters, turn right onto four. Oh, let's reset the trip data. See what we get. So 
So as you will see now, the main road should be 100% nice dry asphalt. Now turn right. Yep, check that out. Okay, turn best off emergency lane keeper. Have we got the motorbike keys? Important. Where the flip are those things? Okay, small problem. Cannot find a motorbike keys. So come back to look for them. Found them. <laughs> How did they get there? Phew, I think I might have put them on the tire last night. Thinking, don't lose them bro. So don't go without them. And I think I might have just ran over them. Oh, Tony, Tony, all intact. Okay, let's try again. Absolute liability, I am. Seriously. Hey, but at least this time I remembered to check if I had them. Normally, <laughs> I'm a right dozy bugger. I'll drive a thousand kilometers and be like, ah, oh, I forgot the keys, or I forgot something. Okay. We have motorbike keys. Put them there, nice and safe. Okay, let's try again. Use the val some valuable range there. I only got to the end of the road, but, you know. Okay, let's go. Okay, take two. In 200 meters, turn right onto four. Okay, so. Now uh, turn right. At the end of the snowy road, and now. Remember, this is road four or E75. Keep straight on this road. Main road through Finland, yeah, and it's lovely and dry. Quite noisy with the studded tires on, but whatever. Ah, uh, nice motorcycle road, two degrees Celsius. A little bit wet in places where snow has been uh, melting. But the, and remember, we're very far north now, so the further south we get, the better it will be. Okay, give an update later on the old consumption. So there is a bit of snow on the road in places, like here. But the weather says it's going to be sunny all day. Uh, it's not going to get that warm, 3 degrees. Oh no, 4 degrees, might get to 4 degrees. So, it's like... It's gonna be four, I don't know, four hours to Rovaniemi, then four hours back on the bike. So in eight hours, the, that sun is gonna dry up all these roads like brilliantly. So it does, it does seem a bit sketchy now. <laughs> I'll be honest, driving through loads of snow and slush like here, uh, knowing that I'm gonna be on a motorbike in a, in a few hours time. But I have faith in thermodynamics science okay starting to get a little bit worried now there are massive sections of snowy road like here <laughs> Okay, 100 kilometers done. Consumption is 17.4. Range, 243. Our destination, 258. So we're still shy. Uh, not gonna make it. So we need to make up a fair bit. A fair bit of kilometers there. We're gonna make it so we'll see how we look when we get to Sodankla in an hour or so whether I need to charge there or not okay 
I'm gonna bail. <laughs> 127 kilometers of range, and it is 129 kilometers to Rovaniemi. So we're two kilometers shy. I could probably make that up, but it's gonna be running it to zero. It's just, it's just gonna be too close for comfort. <clears throat> so, but that does give a, a, a theoretical range of th over 350 kilometers. Uh, so I'm gonna charge up. I'm starving, so I'm gonna go and eat some food. And uh, I'll just charge up. This is only the 30 kilowatt CCS charger. I'll charge up, then I can hammer it to Rover Dewey. So range test, <sighs> range test has been abandoned. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess the studded tires are just eating into consumption too much. Uh, heating hasn't done much much it's five degrees now outside heater's using like 0 0.5 0, 0 0.4 so the heater's not not done much must be the studded tires and it's and a reasonably strong headwind and crosswind well, it must be hurting us but still 350 kilometers is today's range there yeah, so that's that <laughs> But uh, I'll continue videoing when we get to Rovaniemi and I jump on the motorbike. Uh, I'll do an update. Uh, there's a snowmobile on the floor over there. It doesn't look well at all. The ambulance is just coming in. Can you see in the mirror? The uh, ambulance has just came in. I don't want to get out and start filming them. That's quite bad taste. Crikey. Hope he's okay. Anyway, bye for now. Okay, we made it to the train station. Didn't actually need that charge, so range test is back on. Meters, turn right. The aborted range test has been aborted. Now we're back in the back on the range test. I only charged, I only gained 30 kilometers on that on that quick charge in Sodankula, and I still got 45 left, so I didn't even use any of that. There's my beautiful motorbike. So now I'm going to do the drive back up on that. <laughs> uh, please don't snow, please don't snow, please don't snow. So there's the stats, 17.2. 17.2 kilowatt hours per hundred, five hours, 27 minutes. Well, I did stop. I had to go to somebody's house uh, on the way to print some stuff off the train tickets so I was stood chatting for a while I don't know if that includes that possibly does because I left the car on uh, 363 kilometers didn't use any of that charge that I'd done in Sudankla so we can totally disregard that uh, it's nice it's nice that I done that charge because I was gonna have to go and do a charge now to have enough to load the car onto the train and like uh, it's a it's it's there's a charge in near, near the train station in Turku in the south when I get it on Thursday I think I might be back down south so I've got enough now to get it on the train get it off the train and get to a charger in the south so that's cool because it's 10 to 6 already and I've got another five hour ride <laughs> north on that so I'm, I'm happy I don't have to faff about so I'm going to tidy this up a little bit so the train guy um, hopefully knows what to do. Hopefully he knows how to drive EVs. I'm sure he does. A lot of car manufacturers do winter testing up here. So quite often does, you'll see a load of cars um, at the train station that the guys have to load on the train uh, to, to go to all the winter testing grounds in Lapland. I've seen loads, loads of cars, loads of nice cars that go up there. Do they do winter tests? Get get put through various winter tests. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna transfer some stuff into the motorbike now. I can turn this off. Uh, let's find the keys. The 
keys and I almost imagine if I got here and I'd I'd forgot them. Man alive, it's so lucky that I got to the end of the road and was like, hey, where's the motorbike keys? Helmet should still should be in there. Better have to be because I don't have a helmet. Yeah. Helmet gloves. Got my motorbike trousers in that one, motorbike jacket in that one. I'm good. I'm good to go. Because it's uh it might be five degrees, but at hundred kilometers per hour. It is cold, trust me. Oh, I'm so happy I put these panniers on. I only put them on like a week ago. These are good, like good purchase. Yeah, so and they're waterproof as well, so it doesn't matter if it rains, just hope it doesn't snow. But it's gonna be like minus 10 tonight, so. I've got to get up there before the sun goes down. Sun goes down about half eight. So I've got to get up there. Right, well, as soon as the sun sets, temperature really drops. It's going to be like minus, minus 10 tonight. So I've got to make hay while the sun shines. Anyway, that's all for this trip. Bye for now.